In this video, we are going over the basics of the Cybex Bravo Functional Trainer, located in the new Brandywine Fitness Center. Some of you may be intimidated by this machine at first glance, but we made this video to get you more comfortable with your new piece of equipment. So what is a functional trainer? A functional trainer, sometimes more commonly referred to as a cable machine, is a versatile all-in-one piece of equipment used for strength training and incorporates multiple cables, usually two, and attachments so you can perform many different exercises and target many different muscles. The pulley system on these units can be calibrated both up and down as well as internally and externally for a great range of motion during your exercise. Many experts like these machines over free weights because it provides constant tension on the muscle which may lead to greater strength and muscle gain. In this video, Jill and Mikey will go over the basics of how the Cybex Bravo Functional Trainer works and we will also walk through setup for four upper body exercises and four lower body exercises that we both recommend. The cable adjustment on here offers a variety of height and width adjustments. The vertical pulley is used to adjust the height of the cable and the rotary pulley can rotate 360 degrees to adjust the width of the cable. Different exercises will require different height and width, which is why this machine is so versatile. Some exercises will require one pulley or cable, while some will require two. For those requiring two, you will want to make sure that both cables are at the same height and there are numbers on the vertical silver bar so you can line them up exactly. There are several attachments provided for different exercise applications, and they all have spots on the back of the machine. The single handle attachment is a very commonly used one, and will mimic the feel of a dumbbell. There are two of these in the back of the machine, one for each pulley. The short bar will be used on only one cable machine because you will be able to use both hands with this one. It is used for exercises like bicep curls and tricep extension. The ankle cuff attaches to your ankle to perform many different leg exercises and you'll see some of those in this video. These next two we won't be using in this video, but I thought we'd touch on them anyway. This is a triceps rope used for tricep extensions and cable curls, commonly. This next one is a long bar, can be used for squats, deadlifts, presses, and rows. Another feature on this machine is the support pad, as you can see here in the back of the machine, and rotates up. We won't be using this today as it's not necessary for some of the basic movements and we don't want to overload you with too much information. Let's talk about the weight stacks on this machine and some important things to note on safety. There are two weight stacks on this machine, as you'll see highlighted in the yellow boxes. These are adjusted by pulling the pin and inserting the pin into your desired weight. The number on the left of the pin slot is in pounds, and to the right is kilograms. Only adjust the weight when the cable is not in use and all the weights are stacked. There is a safety feature to prevent you from pulling the pin out, but we want to keep our hands and fingers away from the weights when it is in motion. Next, Jill and I will walk through the setup and execution of four upper body exercises including the chest press, row, tricep extension, and bicep curl, and four lower body exercises including the squat, hip abduction, hip adduction, and glute kickbacks. First, you'll want to adjust the weight stacks, and because this exercise will require both cables, make sure both weight stacks are set to the same weight. 
Always start low. You can always adjust later if you need to. Next, we will adjust the height using the vertical pulley, adjusting that up to about shoulder level. Then the rotary pulley, pull that pin, adjust it to about a two, give it a little width for this chest press, and we'll do the same thing for the other side. Again, make sure you pull that pin and adjust the height first. Might be a little different for you. Jill has this set to about seven, and then the rotary pulley is set to two. Next, you'll need the handles, the single handles. Jill's showing you right there. We'll attach each of them onto one of the cables. Each one has a hook. And on both sides. And now we're ready to chest press. Notice how she pulls the weight in a little bit towards her body to get it started, and then pressing out and in, nice and controlled, keeping your abs and core braced. Just pressing forward and back. We're working your chest muscles, shoulders, and triceps. You'll notice in this side view that Jill is taking a split stance. This will just give you a little extra support and stability to perform the movement. You'll do about two to three rounds of 10 to 15 repetitions, resting about a minute to two minutes in between each round. For the row, you will probably be able to use a little more weight than you did on the chest press, so let's adjust both weight stacks to the next heaviest weight. Next, adjust the rotary pulley on both sides so that it is straight up. The arrow will be on one. You'll see Jill do both sides here, and the cables are straight up. And then for the row, you will be turned in, facing the machine this time. Take a few steps back, and then like the chest press, you'll probably want to use the split stands for stability. And then you'll see Jill here, she's pulling her elbows down, in, and back. As you're pulling back, try and get a good squeeze on those shoulder blades. For the tricep extension, we will want to switch out one of the handles for the short bar. Once the short bar is attached, slowly adjust the vertical pulley to a higher setting, around 3 to 4 on the silver bar. Start by bringing the bar down and then bending at the elbow. Come up to about 90 degrees and then extend the arm down to straight. You should feel a good squeeze in the back of those arms, your triceps. Notice how Jill has her elbows pinned close to her body and has minimal movement at the shoulder. You want all the movement coming from your elbow. For the bicep curl, you'll need to adjust the rotary pulley down to setting 9 and then lower the height to about 15 till the bar hits the floor. Only one cable is needed for this exercise as well. Lower down, grab the bar with your palms facing up. Now we're going to curl the bar up, bending at the elbows. Again, you want to hold those elbows in towards your body and curling up, you want most of the movement at the elbow and not the shoulder.
Squat, we will use the same setup as the last one, but you'll want to increase the weight as you'll be able to do more weight than you would with the curl. Next, we'll grab your bar, palms facing down, feet about shoulder width apart, and toes turned out about 15 degrees, just a slight turnout. You see I'm bending and bending at the knee, bringing my hips back and down, sitting backwards. If you feel like you're falling back or you're worried you're going to fall back, you could have a chair behind you. And this is a lower body movement, so notice how my arms are staying straight. They're just holding the weight there and I'm not pulling up or cheating with my arms. First, let's adjust the weight. For these next few exercises, two and a half to five pounds should be plenty. Then we will need to switch out the short bar for the ankle cuff. The vertical pulley and rotary pulley will stay in the same position. There's the ankle cuff. And we strongly recommend using a chair to put the ankle cuff on and attach it to the cable before starting the exercise. Jill is starting with her right foot. We'll hook it to the cable there, and then stand with your left side facing the machine. Grab onto the silver bar for some support, staying nice and tall, just raising that right leg out to the side and back down, nice and slow and controlled. We're going to go right into the next exercise. Just turn towards the machine, grab the silver bar with both hands, slight lean forward, hinge at the hip, and then you're kicking back, trying to keep that leg fairly straight, slight bend in both knees. And again with this one, you want to guide it nice and slow and controlled. Try not to yank the cable. We'll go right into the next exercise as well. You're just going to turn so your right side is facing the machine. And you'll grab the bar with your right hand for support. And then slow and controlled pull the right leg to the left and in front of your left leg. After completing all three of those exercises on the right side, Return to your chair and switch the ankle cuff to that left side and go through all those three exercises again. Once you've completed those exercises for the left side, you can take your ankle cuff off and return it to the back of the machine. Thanks for watching. And we hope that this video helps you feel a little more comfortable with your new machine.